having just completed the cult classic Medieval for the first time. What stuck out most to me about the game was the levels and environments you got to visit throughout Fortescue's journey through Galamir. The variety in locales was very unique, and I really appreciated how each level sort of flowed into the next, but still differentiated itself enough to be considered new and fresh. So without further ado, here is my list for the top 5 levels in Medieval. Number 5 is Scarecrow Fields. Now this level actually may have ranked higher up the list, had it not been for those pesky crows and overpowered scarecrows. We visit this level fairly early in the game, and our weapons are still limited in power, making it very difficult to take down the scarecrows that litter this place. To top it off, you are under constant attack from birds if you stand still for too long. Because of all of this, you must rush your way through most of this level, which is very disappointing, as it really is a rather fun level without the, these annoyances. It is heavy in the fall themes and aesthetic, and it even includes some industrial and heavy farm equipment puzzles that you must navigate through. When you do eventually get the magical sword later on in the game, it makes coming back to this level much more enjoyable. Number 4 is the time device. The final level before finally facing off against the final boss this level is kind of uninspired overall. It sees us making our way through what is some sort of medieval castle, while solving different puzzles and taking down the usual baddies. However, near the end of the level is a train sequence, and while you don't actually get to drive the train, just being able to ride one is cool enough. Every game should have a train in it, and if it does, it automatically gets a boost in points. Number 3 is the Pumpkin Gorge. Like the Scarecrow Fields level, the Pumpkin Gorge is heavy on the fall themes and aesthetic. Unlike the Scarecrow Fields level, the Pumpkin Gorge is not filled with annoying enemies that force you to rush through it. Instead, the baddies in this level are pumpkins that have come to life and are trying to kill us. Perhaps it has something to do with the magical mushrooms that are also in this level. There are pumpkins literally everywhere in this level and everything is sort of covered in an orange hue. It has a very heavy fall vibe, which I really enjoy. Number two is the Enchanted Earth. If I was only considering the Enchanted Earth by itself and not the Ant Caves you get to enter halfway through this level, it might not have made the list altogether. What really makes this level special is that you eventually come across a witch who transforms you into an ant, and then requests that you go and enter an ant colony and defeat the Queen Ant. The Ant Cave section of this level could really be considered a level all unto itself, as it is a giant labyrinth, full of ant minions trying to kill you, larva, and creepy little grown man fairies that you have to save. And then of course, there is the showdown with the Queen Ant, which I found to be the mo most difficult battle in the entire game. Altogether, it really is a cool level and I love it when there are giant secret areas and games. And my favorite level in all of Medieval is the ghost ship. This level has it all. Pirates? Check. Pirate ship? Check. The pirate ship is flying in the air? Also check. You start off this level by getting ubered in by a giant bird who drops you at the rear of the ship. You must then battle your way through a sea of pirates before finally fighting the captain of the ship by blasting him with cannonballs. Oh, and there also happens to be a trampling in the middle of the ship. What's not to love about that? 